What's up my babies? It's your girl Taisha Lachey and I'm back with another freaking yep, video. <laughs> I'm back with another video. Um, we're giving you um, early fall. It's still a little warm outside so I'm giving you pink. Um, we haven't hit the orange phase yet, you know. Uh, today is our makeup therapy video. Um, this is a little different. I am going to talk. You're not getting music this time. So I hope that you enjoy. This is what we came up with. Do people still wear matte lips? I think I am feeling this matte lip. I'm beefing with these eyelashes as usual. But I think that I'm feeling the matte lip, you know. It did what I thought it was going to do. Okay. Um, let's talk about it. Why are you not subscribed? Hmm. Hmm. We're are we are we are we still being childish? I think we're still being childish. Let's let's not do that. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Let me chill. Make sure you comment. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you are notified every time that I upload. Okay? So that you won't miss a video every Thursday and every Sunday. Have I been slacking? Possibly. Mind your business. You, you in my business? Don't do that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see how how she came through like this, okay? How she came through like this. Blended? We're, we're blended? How she came through like this, then make sure you stay tune so as you can tell by the title we're doing another makeup therapy uh we're just getting a couple things off our chest uh if you have anything that you want to say down below feel free this is an open forum this is a safe space and i am always in the comments after i post the video so you let you come talk to me down in the comments the question of the day is how do you deal with self-doubt right I don't think I've mastered it yet and I think here's what I know right what I know is we are our own worst enemies and we are the really the only people holding ourselves back so I have a perfect example of this I vlog on my camera because I can't really afford one of the you know vlog cameras just yet right um and my phone is it's an older version it's an iphone 8 plus uh and i think that it does an amazing job at recording my vlog videos but my audio goes in and out and I have to, I've been trying to figure out how to edit around that. And trust me, it is a big U B I T C you know what, to edit around that. So, I've just been feeling really discouraged. So today, I was doubting myself. Like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I'm just going to give up. And if you're new to my channel, there's a lot of instances where I go missing. <laughs> And a lot of the times it's because I am doubting myself and it could be little things like views or something that someone said, stuff that doesn't matter, basically. I just felt like, basically I felt like I was being played. Like I feel like YouTube is playing me, I'm not hitting the algorithm, but truthfully, is it really YouTube's fault? Because YouTube didn't keep me from not posting videos. I think one time I stopped posting videos for a year. That wasn't YouTube, that was me. And at that time, I was hitting the algorithm. So, like, who's really at fault here, right? It's, hold on, I'm trying to find my. So like, who's really at fault here, right? Me. So, I, would go through these phases where I would get really excited and I would upload and upload and upload and upload and then I would stop. Um, sometimes it was because I was discouraged. Um, so I, I think at one point it was because I was in a relationship. Like, I let things around me stop me. So I was basically self-sabotaging myself, right? 
what I did was I had to change my thought process and I did not do this overnight it took me a very long time to get to this point um, but I had to change my thought process not about my content not about um, my confidence but how I felt about myself doing my content if I'm always comparing myself to other people how do I expect to thrive? I am not those people. Though we may be doing the same thing, they're not doing it like I'm doing it. Why? Because there's only one me. So that's one thing I had to do was start telling myself like, okay, they're doing this and you may have had a similar idea. So do it your way. Put your little Taisha Twain on it and go on about your business. Stop worrying about what other people are doing also what i've been doing is i will upload a video and then i will just let it be for about an hour i will promote it i won't go back to it i won't click on anything i won't look at the views or anything um sometimes i'll say an hour sometimes it'll be a day or two before i go back and look at the numbers and really a lot of the times the only reason i know what um my numbers are is because my mother watches and so she'll be like oh you got this many views on your video which is fine like that's okay with me but I don't go back and personally check I did that because that causes self-doubt if I go and post a video and that video only gets five views so if I'm looking at those numbers that's causing self-doubt that's making me not want to do it when in reality, I'm doing it because I love it. So whoever watches, watches and they watch because they like what I'm doing, right? That's what I had to focus on. So I had to, I had to apply that in every other aspect of my life. Right? Uh, my business, for example, I was so afraid to start my business. I'm a, I, I'm, I can admit that I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of not doing well. I'm afraid of being let down. I am afraid of being let down in almost every aspect of my life. I'm afraid of letting myself down. I'm afraid of letting my mother down, you know? So I'm starting this new venture and she's just simply proud of the fact that I started. And I'm over here like, well, what if I don't get any sales? What if I don't get any clients? blah 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 doubting myself and she was just really proud of the fact that I did it that I actually started and I'm sticking to it and I'm trying to you know get it to grow and, um you are going to have to put the work in I'm gonna say that again in order for it to work out because it's gonna require a lot of time and energy it's gonna require a lot of emotion so no, it's not going to be easy. But know that if you put your all into it, it's going to come out. You're going to get a great outcome. And sometimes maybe you don't get a good outcome, right? That's okay too. And that's okay because that just means there's room for improvement. There is an area in your process that needs a little tweaking. That's what that means. It doesn't mean stop. Um, I had to learn that the hard way too. My YouTube channel wasn't going like I wanted to. Okay, I just won't upload. No! Stupid! Um, I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to go in the Soft Glam Palette. And I'm just going to put Sienna and Burnt Orange in my uh, crease. And I'm going to build that up. Um, and then I'll get it. I don't think I'm going to do... A glitter we'll see but we're using the soft glam today I, that's another way to to um, trigger self-doubt and to trigger self-sabotage is excuses you can come up with a million and one excuses you can you really can come up with a million and one excuses as to why you should or should not do something um, simply because you are doubting yourself now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in the business of slowing myself down anymore. I want to be in the business of getting everything that I want in life 
because I am very capable of doing so. We have to stop putting ourselves in these fake scenarios to talk ourselves out of something. We've got to stop doing that. It's not necessary. I had started this, um, I was going to the gym, I was walking 30 minutes every day, I wasn't eating out. Um, I'd still been going to the gym, I just wasn't going as hard. And then I started doing yoga instead because it was easier. I started doubting whether or not I could do it. I started feeling like, oh, you know, I'm big, I'm uncomfortable. I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to put myself through this. I'm going to, let's do yoga. Yoga's easy. Let's. Let's not get on the treadmill for 30 days because I'm uncomfortable and my legs are burning. Like, let's not, right? And, wow, I did not mean to do that. And uh, so again, I started to doubt myself. And let's just say my workouts the last few days have been few and far between. Um, I'm actually going to go into Dusty Rose. There she is right there. Dusty Rose. And I'm going to put her here. Um, so Monday I'm going to start again. And I'm going to start again for myself. And I have no disabilities. I have nothing hindering me. So why am I not doing it? Because I've come up with this convoluted goddamn idea in my head that I'm not capable of doing it. That's why. So let's just say we're not doing that. And th I hope that this is a sign to you that we're not doing that. We're going to get up and we're going to be accountable. We're going to hold ourselves accountable for the shit that we say we're going to do. Because we deserve that. <laughs> we deserve better, damn it. We deserve better and we're going so we're going to be better We're understanding our mental processes as in getting rid of that little negative um voice in our head and understanding where that negative voice is coming from if we can figure out where that negative voice is coming from what's triggering that negative voice or why that negative voice wants to pop up when we are trying to do something good who's to say that we're not able to put a stop to our self-doubt altogether so that's another thing is that i've been working on is trying to figure out okay why do i feel this way then why do i think that i am not capable of doing this what has made me think that i a human being a god created human being is not capable of anything that I put my mind to. Why I doubted myself so much that I would not trust in myself or God to pull me through what it is that I wanted to achieve. Uh, once I really started figuring out what that was, it really helped me understand how to move forward. If you ever feel like um, you're having a moment where you're doubting yourself stop for a second and think why am I feeling like this what is causing me to believe that I cannot do it what is my mind going through that's causing me to be to turn such a positive um, thing that I want to do into doubt I think I've definitely come a long way in understanding uh, why I feel the way I feel and being in those emotions but not allowing those emotions to control the rest of my day because if I do I run the risk of ruining the rest of my day and possibly somebody else's my favorite quote from um, Mama Tabitha Brown is you have a good day now you're here and if you can't don't you dare go ruin somebody else's and that's so real just because you can't have a good day 
don't mean you go take your funky, nasty, stinky attitude and ruin somebody else's day. I used to do that too. I used to be in such a terrible mood. I used to have such a terrible attitude that it affected the people around me. And up here all in our heads, doubting ourselves, being down on ourselves. That's not okay. No. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. And most importantly, baby, get out your dang on head. Because you're gonna mess you gonna mess something up for yourself being in your head and doubting yourself. It ain't fun. It ain't fun to constantly have to start over. It ain't fun to constantly feel like you ain't enough. It ain't fun to feel less than. It ain't fun to continuously compare yourself to people. Put yourself in I like to call it a boss mindset. You can, I also like to call it uh, being connected to your higher self. But I think people are more receptive when you say a boss mindset. So, um, put yourself in that mindset that I can and I will. I'm capable. I'm more than enough to do it. And if I don't know everything that I need to know, I am more than capable of figuring and learning out how to do it. You, you get what I'm saying? I really want you all to give me some tips down below on how you work through your self-doubt. Um, also tell me down below how you feel or if you feel that you are self-aware. If you do not know the definition of self-aware, please go look it up. <laughs> please do not just put down in the comments that you believe that you are self-aware because I used to be like, I know myself, I know da 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 da, when in reality, I ain't know shit about myself. I didn't know what made me tick, I didn't know why it made me tick, I didn't know why I was triggered by certain things, I didn't know why I reacted to certain things. So, I'm really curious to see the responses to that because a lot of people don't, they do not understand the concept of being self-aware. Oh, that nose contour came out cute. Mm -hmm. I hope that you all got something out of today's conversation. If not, let me know. Let me know where we can. Is that the brush? Yeah. Let me know where we can. Um. Or what we can add to the conversation. going to use orgasm by NARS I'm going to highlight a little bit and I'm going to use the crayon case the contortion notebook and I'm going to use um, the pink me right here so I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. This is pretty much the look. Y'all know when I come back, the hair going to be down and poofed out. We're going to be 
popping okay i'm gonna mascara and lashes i'm still using these violet gloss lashes these heavy ass lashes um if you have any eyelash recommendations please leave them down below because I, my little eyes cannot take all these heavy ass lashes okay so i'll be right back Oh, just like that. Just like that, she a baddie. Just like that, she a baddie. What? Y'all know you take that hair down and you give it a good shake. You transform into a whole new person. Is she? I, it, 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 it's giving what I thought it was going to give. Okay. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something from this video so that I hope it was helpful. Okay, we can do this. So without further ado, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that you are notified every time that I upload. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. See y'all later.